All right, we are back with more Tormented Souls. We just got a... Well, my glasses, since I'm going to be reading probably. A uh, key that looks like it'll fit. The There's been a few of these weird locks. So let's go check one out. We are in west... We are in east floor two. Okay. So... Looks like there's one... That's the disc door. Not... Is this dining room? Yeah, this is library. Okay, so we loop around here. couple of those shots. key. The dials can be rotated. Okay. What do we get when we put those two shapes together? So that's going to be a square, right? The other one was going to be a hexagon. Hexagon or pen? Yeah, hexagon. That will be... Pentagon. So square, hexagon, pentagon. There we go. All right. That's very recent, because we're in 1994 December right now. I believe December. Yeah, that's not shocking, considering they're all over the floor in every other room. Are they from some kind of animal? Let's go to the other doors before we go play the tape. Maybe. Got a little captain joining me. Floor two, west. Right? No. Floor two, 
or to east is what we're on. I got turned around. So that was the only one there. I wish I knew what the red and green meant. So let's go to floor two west. And if we go through in the same room as the elevator, we'll find something. Or find another lock. one so it's five three eight so that's gonna be a pentagon right a triangle Do we have an octagon eight sides. Yeah, it does. Oh, it wants to say infinity. If you rotate it 90 degrees, it's a sideways eight. So let's make it a circle. Genius. I also have a my cat right here. If you don't pet her for a minute, she oh can you see it? Can you see it? Let me pause. She taps you. And then she starts to pet herself on your hand. She is the most adorable little meatball. She's dense. She's a little camera shy, but she does love being picked up. Look at this dense girl. Little Norwegian forest cat that uh, rescued after Hurricane Michael. Which is, uh, that was the big one that hit the Panhandle in Florida in 2018. I don't live in the Panhandle, but when all the when the hurricane hit, um, there were so many. She had to have been a person's cat. Like, this cat, when I uh, got her, she was already so socialized. Like, she, um, like, I, there we go. Uh, the shelter was gonna, you know, just so the people there could get a little break for the holidays, they, we're closing down for Thanksgiving weekend, and they were like, we need people to take these animals for like a few days. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. It was like right around the corner from my house. And when I went to the, just to choose which animal I would take, I already had Hobby. And uh, at the time I had Hobby's brother as well. Hobby's brother, unfortunately, is no longer with us. Manny. Um, and she just walked right up to me and was just like doing that, like tapping and like, you know, putting her face against my fingers. Like, like she just wanted to be a part of our family. And like within 20 minutes of getting her into my house, I was like, oh, this one's not going back, is it? So now her name was Meg, which like, that wasn't gonna fly with me. I actually have an ex-girlfriend named Megan. I don't dislike her or anything, but it was like, I'm not having a cat named Meg in my house. Um, so her new name is Elena. Kind of fits with the theme for why it was Javi, Manny, and Elena. Um, and I'm 
just so happy to have you. Anyways, enough about me and my cats. I am a cat guy, I guess. <laughs> uh, back to this game. Father, what happened to you? Is he missing his arm? You're in shock. We need to take care of your injury before you bleed out. I felt like that was worthy of a cutscene, but it was apparently not. Um, yeah. Uh, should I burn it with my lighter? Like, what the hell, dude? How did that happen? Will be like the other. Yep, we're going to the other world. It's been so long since I played the original Silent Hill that I kind of want to play it maybe two as well. I know that's everybody's favorite, but I. I don't know, I think I like one more. Oh, it's so creepy looking. It's gonna be like we did with the part, I guess. Why is there a toilet just like right there? Yeah? Sorry, monkey. Nothing else to do here. Nothing in this cabinet. We'll take those. The monkey thief. The judge read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. The defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. Okay, so this is probably going to be for some puzzle. The accused mother's wrote... The accused's mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. The gavel hit, its victim resigned. And so, the cold blade inevitably fell onto the innocent's neck. shotgun. The shotgun is always the best weapon in every game. I'm just gonna say it. Oh, there we go.
It looks like it's a mannequin, though. I don't know if mannequins commit suicide. Unless there are real bodies of dead people. Or, unless there are real bodies in the real world in this room. We're in 2D. Is that the door that was blocked right there? Has to be something we missed. Please just stay on the one that's on me. So this is blocked by pipes, so we cannot go into it. Okay. And we can't go further this way because of the guy. Can you not just one hand your gun for us? We go this way. Need something that'll just like we need like glue or something probably. Um, sorry, father, you might have to bleed out for a little longer. Uh, yeah. So, one more time on that map. We can't get through over to there. Without that thing being taken care of. Let me go there in this world. There's... No door to leave it. Like, it looks like it says on that thing. Okay, it's on the back of this gate. Okay. I don't think we can help him right now. Sorry, boss.
the shotgun. I saw another one back there. The other way is just too much work. Touching any of that. Okay. Half a bite. Body is lying under the sheet. Whoa. Where's the other half? Let's see what it's saying. Okay, I read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, so that's gonna be mouth. His fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that cover the surface of his paper. The defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. Okay, well, let's. Let's finish reading it, yeah. Like, I'll just write down the keywords. Come on, read it. Hypnotized. The accused mother wrote in capital letters frantically. Wrote. Frantically, and maybe it's something over her head. The gavel hit. Victim resigned. So the cold blade inevitably fell onto the innocent's neck. So, blade. Neck. To do with talking. Fingertips. Okay, that's gonna be the last one. No head. Um. Hypnotized. So this frantic seems like maybe grabbing their head like that, and then maybe... It's 
read it one more time. Like, is there... Yeah. Unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that cover the surface of the paper. Hypnotize. So I think the mother is the head. Like the... Fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps, hypnotized by the angry movements of the judge's lips. So reads, unwavering voice, so that, uh... Could it be that that's this one because Maybe it's like... I think that the judge would be something like this because he's like... I'm missing something. Read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. So it's gotta be... These, you know, just passed it too. This and this have to be right. Maybe. Maybe the no C. These are really like great fits. Um, I'm sure that this is annoying to y'all. I might pause it just so that I don't keep reading it. I think that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pause for a second and see if I can figure this out without frustrating y'all. One sec. Okay. So. I have gotten the solution. I don't necessarily like it. First one is covers his eyes, which how is he reading without seeing? The second one is covers ears, but he's hypnotized by the voice. The third one covers mouth because she's writing and not speaking. I so it's see no hear no speak no and then headless, which like I don't know. But 
something tells me we're gonna want to power it up. This is like that wrench in the beginning. I don't like that monkey puzzle. I feel like it was not. I don't think I, yeah, like, it was a little bit obtuse. Like, how are you reading with your eyes covered? Um, okay, we can't even get to it there. I'm guessing we're gonna staple the arm to him. Hmm. Maybe I'll think about that a little bit more. I don't wanna like be too harshly judging it. Because maybe I'm it's possible I was just missing something patently obvious there. Staying on. Father, are you okay? Carolyn, my child. That thing has stolen my Bible. Huh. Stay there, Father. Right now, it's vital that you keep calm. Yes, you're right. I don't know how I'll be able to thank you for taking care of my arm, my child. What are you talking about, Father? It wasn't me. What do you mean it wasn't you? you? We literally just did it. But I saw you. Oh, you are right. I'm getting confused. Now that I think about it, it was Dr. William who treated my arm. Dr. William, the Wildberger twin's father. Is he in the mansion? I had no idea Dr. William had daughters. Where can I find him? He's usually in his office. You'll probably find him there. Makes sense. I'll go find him. He might be able to give me some answers. You're just not going to say that out loud? Wait, take this. I'm sure it will be more useful to you than me. That to me. Thank you, Father. I'm sure this will be of help. God be with you, child. Okay, now he's speaking again. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. So we, we don't need to use this anymore? Yes! Let's go take care of that thing in the hallway. And there's another area where there's another one of those things in the dark. Okay. Oop, I'm out of focus. Atlanta, baby. Refocus me, please. There we go. Didn't do his little scream. Usually they go down with one shot. That guy was tough. Made a tougher stuff. So that door will be. Unlocked, I'm guessing, in the real world. Did 
the other one was in the first floor off the main hall near that bathroom. Wait, no, I just need to go to the, uh, through the bathroom over here. That's how I do it. So wood is torn up on the other side. What we got? Okay, come on, camera. Homemade stabbing weapon capable of releasing an electric charge. Okay. I think we're ready to leave this area now. Let's go check out that thing on the first floor. Respawn. Is there another one? time through. Probably need to find a coin. We got here. Okay, it's just saying what is the rest of the... Well, that's a square. Shine. Um, is that from my light? Like if I turn this off? Okay, this is the one time I can't like interact too in depth with something. Well. Oh, there's a dot in the middle. Equals two. I think it's how many lines it's touching. If it throws me for a loop and whenever that comes up. Oh man, I can't shoot them from back there and they can't get me from back there. That's gonna be an annoying sound to hear the entire time. The new receptionist told me that no matter how hard he tries, he cannot unlock the cash register. It looks like the only one who can get it to open is Dr. Sean Mayer. 
who's been missing for the last week. I checked his personal belongings and couldn't find anything more than a piece of paper under his desk. It's like someone erased all traces of him. So, our operating theory, that would be zero. Can I zoom in on it, please? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, zero, five, one, three, four, zero, five, one, four. And I guess we're going to put it in here. No. Okay. Wait. Where did that thing go? diary was that? Okay. Zero. Four. One. Four. Okay. I just miscounted. I'm glad that it wasn't going to be something else that was super frustrating to me. Anything else back here? Nice. get everything which door do we come in through we need to go out through here no we don't care of business on those guys. There's a guy in the hallway we could kill. One of those guys blocking. Oh! That felt cheap. this room. Sounds like there might even be another one. Where are you? Okay.
just windows, okay. Alright, Maria Wildberger's Diary. Uh, 15 September 1980. Anna and Emma may be identical twins, but their personalities are quite different. Anna is an extrovert, a noisy and attentive girl, while Emma is quiet and distant. Some days ago, and after much effort, I finished making two beautiful dresses for them. It took them a single afternoon to almost completely destroy them. They came back from the forest covered in dirt from head to toe, with twigs and leaves in their hair. The dresses were torn and frayed. For a brief moment, I almost flew into a fit of rage. But I pursed my lips, and after taking a few deep breaths, Explain through my tears just how much work those dresses took to make. Anna's eyes became misty, and she babbled an apology, her eyes fixed on the floor. She seemed very regretful. On the other hand, Emma started stared right at me with a clueless expression, and then, for only a second, a mocking grimace appeared on her face. Her cold eyes froze my heart immediately. Terrified by that expression and not knowing what else to do, I sent them to their rooms. They did not dine that night. Just like, get over it, Mom. This is not a shower room, this is like a tub room. Can we, can we, can we use it? I feel like we have some mental illness. There was something flashing. Okay! I remember floppy disks. I'm s I bet you that was gonna be a gotcha. Y'all are clever. Whoever made this is so clever. You shouldn't do that to a floppy disk, by the way. The uh opening the the flap like that. Not that that's even a relevant thing to think about anymore. Hello. Such an awful way to die. Oh yeah, we should try that new weapon out. I just found some uh, charges for it. Anything else? I'm using a controller. We just open it now? It's shut tight. Um, we use our crowbar? No? Um, it's shut tight. What's this? Push this back in. It shut tight. Aqua. It looks like that probably says aqua glue. Some sort of solvent. dying in one shot.
else to do here. We have a coin we can put in that thing. Already went to the restroom. And the intensive care corridor. Okay, there was another one of those doors in the, um, near the beginning of the game. So let's try the coin over here. positive so type a positive simulated red blood cells okay Humans come from Earth. We got a simple looking gray alien. gonna come from the star. I guess we're gonna just say that the pharaoh comes from a pyramid. Be a hexagon because of honeycombs. Hell yeah! Master key. Solve all the combination key puzzles. William Wilde Berger's Diary. 2nd January, 1970. Maria has lost another child. This is the third. I do not know how I find the strength not to falter, but I must be strong for both of us. Maria's condition worsens by the day. Her body may be damaged, but it's her mind that worries me most. She says not a word, and her eyes have stopped reacting when exposed to light. She no longer recognizes me and startles when I try to draw clothes. Oftentimes, she is so disoriented that she screams and breaks everything in her path. I can stop her only with an injection. I know that Maria, my Maria, is somewhere inside that damaged body. 4th January 1970. She worsens. Today, I witnessed an awful sight as I entered her room. 
She stood in a pool of blood, lashing her own back with a whip. Mm. It grabbed her by the wrist, but she fought back while screaming at the top of her lungs. I called in a paramedic to help me sedate her and put stitches across her entire back. How could she do this to herself? What goes on inside her head? At least tonight, she will sleep soundly. 5th January, 1971. My god, what have I done? Maria, will you ever forgive me? What have you done, dude? That was like a year later. This don't look like real entrails. Yeah, we need to... Okay, and there was that battery charger. So that was the last of that key door. The special key. Let's go to that battery charger. We also have a VHS to watch. Disc. Yeah, we have a lot to do over here. Wait. Oops, sorry, sorry. It will take days to charge. Okay. Okay. I am gonna guess that. Chapel 110594. Where is this area? Chapel. Of course. Um, let's go watch the tape. Oh, let's see if we can do the computer thing first. thing is going to entail. get that. I don't feel like we've gotten any hint as to what we should be writing. Maybe we can try putting the disc into that door. But let's go watch the tape first. What the hell is going on here? Oh yeah! I'm gonna guess it's gonna say it's gonna take days to freeze. I'm just gonna assume that it will, and we'll we'll hit it up when we go do the battery charging in 1994 November. Okay.
maybe we need some sort of like coagulant. We'll do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save here because there's like a lot of threads that we can close right now. And I don't know how long the video is gonna take. So if we just save here, we can start off and have a lot of things to look forward to in the next chapter. Um, hopefully in this next video, it's gonna explain how we can go into videos, maybe. Something tore off one of the priest's arms. Thankfully, the doctor, William, surgically replaced it with a new one. I didn't even realize a procedure like that was possible. I also discovered that William is the father of the twins in the photo. I should go to his office to see if he can give me some useful information. Okay. Well, my thoughts are still pretty much the same on this game. Um, I'm liking the design, the graphics. I was frustrated with that monkey puzzle. I felt like it was counterintuitive. Like, how are you reading with your hands over your eyes? How are you hypnotized by somebody speaking with hands over your ears? Um, what is hands, how are you writing with hands over your mouth? Like, it just, like, I get it, like, he's, Justice is blind, I guess. Uh, it just felt like a stretch, and the other puzzles that I didn't, the other puzzle that I had a problem with, like, I get that I was not correct, and, like, read it wrong, like, that's on me. But that one, I was like, no, I don't feel like I did read that wrong. I feel like it's just not, that was that one was not worded correctly. Maybe, maybe it makes more sense. I don't think that the team that made this was um, uh, English as their first language. So maybe like in whatever the original language, it made a lot more sense. And the translation wasn't great. Um, but I might be wrong about that. But I, I, I feel like this came from a, Latin American or South American country. I'll double check that for the next video. But um, still gonna power through. I'm hoping for some sort of explanation here. I'm probably gonna play a little bit more tonight and then uh, call it and then uh, finish it up maybe this weekend. But as always, uh, thanks for watching. I am new to this, so please feel free to give me all the feedback you want, as long as you're not a dick about it. I want to be uh, making videos that are worth watching. Um, like, I don't want to do like long form essays or anything, but I want to, you know, recording I think has kind of convinced me to um, play some of the games that like I have bought on Steam and just never booted up. And um, I think some of my friends that refuse to play survival horror games will get a kick out of seeing me play them. Uh, so it's kind of like a, you know, it's just like a personal, fun, little hobby project that will probably be pretty irregular for me, but if, uh, if people like it, maybe not. Like, I do have a pretty demanding job, um, but, you know, I am having fun with this right now, so we'll see. All right, till next time.